Today, as we discuss about diabetic retinopathy, myself, Dr. Kalpana Sangwan, I'm a vitreo retinal surgeon and eye specialist at Indira Gandhi Eye Hospital, Gurugram. We must learn that diabetic retinopathy is quite prevalent in our country as well as in our capital. Secondly, as India is progressing towards becoming the national as well as world's diabetic capital, so let's discuss about diabetic retinopathy today in detail. Diabetic retinopathy is a condition in which there is retina is affected in condition when there is the prolonged years of uncontrolled diabetes in patients of type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes more than 15 or 20 years of duration. So first we must know what is retina. Retina is the light sensitive layer of the eye which catches signal from the outside as we look upon lot of things and it takes the light signals and converts it into electrical signals which are perceived by our brain as an image and that's how we see. Diabetic retinopathy can also be presented as blurred vision, decreased vision. Sometimes patient can also appreciate change in the size and shape of the objects. Patient can also appreciate colors in dull variety or at the same time, sometimes the vision becomes totally black also and patient may see some black spots in the field of the vision. So how do we diagnose diabetic retinopathy? Diabetic retinopathy is diagnosed by a variety or battery of tests. First and foremost, we do a dilated fundus examination in which drops are put to dilate our pupil so that a limited amount of retina view can be appreciated just by looking at the fundus. Diabetes can also affect our central vision as well as peripheral vision. Central vision is affected in the terms of blurred vision, decreased vision, while the peripheral vision is also affected during driving, in the night time, or sometimes patient may see some black spots in the field of the vision. So how can we prevent diabetic retinopathy? First and foremost, we should have a strict diabetic control. Along with that, if we have any associated conditions like hypertension, cardiac conditions, high cholesterol, in that condition, we must have a good control over these conditions to have a good outcome or to prevent increased stages of or increased progression of diabetic retinopathy. Secondly, few lifestyle modifications like decreased calorie intake and decreased intake of the foods which have high glycemic index or which have high potential to raise the sugars. And thirdly, we should have good exercise every day. At least some strenuous exercise or cardio exercises should be done almost every day. Once diagnosed, diabetic retinopathy can be categorized into the various stages. The stages can be mild, moderate, severe, or if we go even beyond severe, this is the proliferative diabetic retinopathy. In proliferative diabetic retinopathy, it also presents as bleeding inside the eye or sometimes retina can get detached also. While in early stages of diabetic retinopathy, patient may present as decreased vision or sometimes there are no symptoms at all and it can be diagnosed coincidentally on fundus examination. Once diagnosed, how should we treat the diabetic retinopathy? Diabetic retinopathy can be treated with the help of lasers, anti-VEGF injections, and lastly, with the help of surgery, once the retina is fully detached. In order to have a good surgical or visual outcome, we should have good diabetic or systemic control. Secondly, we must go to a retina specialist and get ourselves examined in case we are having diabetes for more than 15 to 20 years. And thirdly, we must listen to the retina specialist and get that treated on time. Thank you so much.